Hello, formerly zombie estate agents. Back to cassette bees. Last time, we defeated another captain and also gave someone a new start, as well as took out a couple of fusion bees. This time, we will be taking on another captain, but first we're gonna go meet Felix, which we haven't really done yet. I mean, we've met him once. I'd probably say Felix, and I wouldn't be surprised if you folks are like, who's Felix? It's all right, it's all right. You'll remember soon enough, or you won't. Should be over here, if I'm not mistaken. If it looks at the map, it's on the screen. I believe he's in this blue house. And my goodness, I was correct yet again. Hey. <laughs> I like how I had to jump over there. Oh, hey. You came to hang out? You want to see what I rescued from that sad remains of my old, old place? Sure, what do you got? So in my regular life, I was a zote artist. A, a what? Hmm. It's easy to show, just check this out. This is what we call Zote Reel. You slide onto a Zote, a Zote, <laughs> I wanna say a Zotoscope. A Zote Rope, a Zoe Rope? How would you pronounce that? Either way. Well, I slot this into a Zoe Trope right here, and then look through the slot. A Zoe Trope has a motor in it, and when you hit this button, it spins. And it toy. The row, the row of the Zote strip has the same image drawn over and over with different variations. <laughs> when, spin around, when it's spun around, it animates and comes to life, right? And then you pull this lever to switch to the next row for the next part of our story. You can tell a whole story and bring it to life with just drawings. <sighs> I've been obsessed with Zotes ever since I was a kid. They used to be very popular, though they've kind of fallen out of fashion. It's more of a niche medium now, at least where I'm from, I mean. Most Zote stories are about heroes in the French Revolution, like Scarlet <laughs> Pimpernel. But ever since the big budget movie adaptions really took off, there's a lot less interest in the source material. I got into these stores as a kid. I couldn't shake my love for them. I guess that's why I'm an ass now. Hmm. Right now I'm trying to come up with some new characters. And as it turns out, on an island full of weird monsters, it's a perfect place to find inspiration. Which means you might be able to help me out. I'm searching for a particular creature, and I want to get a good looking one. I know you can find it in the Cherry Meadow. It's a warrior with a wooden soul. I think we've seen one of those. Can you help me out? Sure. <laughs> cool, well I'll mark it on your map. All right, so we gotta go up there. Felix is now with us as a partner. And he comes with a brush room. Brush rooms are keen artists and paint using strange pigments that ooze from their heads. Don't, don't ask what that is. It has been observed that they can ch they are able to change the physical properties of an object they paint over depending on the color they use even though they are a plant type. It almost sounds like they're a glitter type, to be honest. They probably do get glitter abilities. You got a lot of slots on this thing. I wonder if this would be a good, uh, actually, let's take a closer look at that brush room. I've never really looked at it as a replacement for Blossom Off, but let's take a look. I mean, maybe can have some of the same things. So it's, one thing I don't like about this particular beast though, is it's really overall, you know, it doesn't have any specialization. I've said it throughout this entire thing. I really like specialization because you look at Blossom Mom. That is a hard to kill thing. That's its whole role, not dying and making it so my glass cannon can stay alive. Very important. Anyway, we're just gonna go and swip, swap that out. I know that's probably your identity in uh, mushroom form, but I, I don't care, so um, deal with it. Anyway, come along, Felix. What level were you, by the way? You're level 43. He always starts out at the same level you are. I believe it works that way with all your compadres. They don't always stay at the same level. That's why we kind of brought Eugene out there to keep him up. There's a bird, there's another bird. We're gonna dodge you. Oh, you saw me from across the centuries. Oh my goodness. You're gonna start a ruckus. Inside, everybody's a skeleton struggling to get out. 
He's a creep. Come here and let me liberate you from your fleshy prison. Prison. Of course. I'd rather you didn't. Thankfully, Felix already knows how to use plant type abilities. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job, Felix. All right, so we have a pond dead and we have a jelly tip. Let's go ahead and use a icicle dart. I would like you. You're probably faster than a pond dead, lethal said, hopefully. If you aren't, whatever. I noticed that uni target didn't go off. Also, I should have just done the other ability. You're faster. Good. Good. Well, now you're dead. Get out of here, you. Another jelly tin, huh? Let's go ahead and hit you with another icicle dart. And you can go ahead and... I don't know. Put him... Well, he's already asleep. He didn't actually expend any sleep because he didn't get a turn. <clears throat> kind of bullshit. You got really hosed. <laughs> Brushroom gets another level, and he now has Elemental Wall. Good job, Brushroom. Everyone's proud of you. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. I have spent too much time as a gelatin. I really, uh, I really was gonna cut out your bones. I'm sorry. I can change. Oh, the lever. Well, that was one of the easier chests to get, huh? I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised if it has a Rogue Fusion. It has Broadcast. Not a bad ability. The Lost Hearts Graveyard. We'll just go ahead and skate across that wall, as one does. Come along, Felix. I think we've... That's an Ice Pack. We have fought one of those before, I recall. We have things just being about, as they often will. Now it's time for Lethal's favorite game, What's in the Box? An Uncommon Turret. Cool. Critical uh, hit on type advantage. So look, there's a, there's a lever here. Oh my goodness. Yep. There sure is a lever. There sure is. All right, Felix, are we feeling, uh... We're feeling spirited enough to take it down, I think. Hmm? Captain Gladiola. You're a long way from home, aren't you? I don't mean... I don't mean Harbor Town, of course. I mean your true home. I am Gladiola. I am Gladiola. The, I am the loyal captain of Jans Rangers. Okay, what well you do? Hmm. Much of this purgatory that we find ourselves trapped in is unknown to us. In this world. In this world, I'll continue. The shadows have claws, and my job is to scratch them back. Okay? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Are you here for my ranger, for my ranger captain challenge? I'm well, you're welcome to try and face my blades, if you think you can handle it. Yes? <laughs> let's hope that you don't, <laughs> let's try that again, Lethal. Let's hope that you don't get, don't cut that pretty face of yours. It is pretty, isn't it? Adorable, even. Begin! I, that guy that came with you, his face looks pretty terrible. All right, so we have two metal boys. We're about the right level for this. Sleeps. Sleeps. <laughs> Break every strategy in the game. We also didn't get an automatic uni cast. Lethal shakes his head. Well, at least we got sleep off on the first turn, I guess. Let's put up lightning walls. They're both metal types, so if they do any metal moves, uh, they should be in for a bad time. Let's go ahead and put that on you. This will also enable Felix to do multi-target. Unless that happens. I mean, that can happen too. There we go. Okay, I'm waiting for you to do a parry stance. Are you gonna do a parry stance? We'll see. I can use Acorn Mortar. Let's go ahead and hit they got one extra tape. Let's hit you first. <laughs> Trying to peekaboo me. Okay, that's a good move. I don't blame you for doing that. It's a fantastic move. One of my favorites. He 
acorn mortar. Oof. Not the worst, not the best. Seeing their strong defense. All right, it's time for you to hit me with the uh, with the good stuff. Do we scorch you? I think we do. There we go. My accuracy's down, but I did get him. Ow! Damn your jagged edge. Thankfully, we have all this nice leech power to keep me on my feet. Along with, of course, that guy not getting a move ever. Interesting. Jagged Edge hit you when it was a, uh, a sass attack. Not supposed to happen. Do we hit him with Icicle Dart? I think we do. I going to say he's taking a lot of damage. We need to get uh, Leech back online. There we go, good. That ranger's down. Merb. Actually damn me again, that's fine. Because we have our dots and those don't miss. You know what, you need to taste your own mess. Actually, I should probably uh, re-lightning wall. We'll do that first. Let's do the prudent thing here. Also, he is dodging, so it is hard for me to hit. I would like you to put this damn thing to sleep. Not sure if dodge is going to save you, but we'll see. Yes. All right. Um, now you may actually do the other one. Later. Go ahead and give him unicast. We'll just have a miss off and we'll see who misses first. That's still good. Do we want to get more dots on him? Let's get more scorch on him. There you go. We're gonna peekaboo Felix now. Since you can actually target Felix. Shaking my fucking head to bed, Jack. You got him and the Jack. Let's go ahead and hit you with those. Let's go ahead and hit you with Leech. You and that damn dodge. <laughs> I mean, he's using the same strategies we are. I'm just, I know how to actually battle those strategies. Icicle dart again? I don't want to get hit by any more. Well, I could just hit him with that. I don't know. My, uh, my smack's not really that effective. Okay, we dig him with that. Do we do acorn work? Or do we try to put him to sleep? We try to put him to sleep. I'm tired of your dodging. There we go. Nope, she didn't go to sleep. You don't cut me down so easily. You became a nice type. We haven't seen this particular one. I forget what it's called. Well, you're another one that's also hit by ice attacks. And hopefully you don't have that stupid, uh... Stupid jagged edge. Although you might. If you do, you do. And if you don't, you don't. That's pretty much how it works. Good. good, good. No jagged edge. Fan... Oh. Okay, good. Didn't get spanked for that. I should have been. Get burned. All right, let's get a lightning wall on me. I don't have... Well, I do still have one turn of multicast. Good. So that means that Felix also get a wall. What about that? Okay, good. You can use that without any fear. I'm hoping that you'd use an ice attack. Interestingly, she's done very few attacks. She's she's had a role very similar to mine, where I try to befuddle the enemy with my many skills. Let's go ahead and charge, or attempt to anyway. You can go ahead and do another acorn mortar, and we'll try to put this one to bed. There you go. Good fight and good night, Gladiola. No challenge for our dream team. Water co coating for our little brush room there and some metal. A lot of metal, actually. Impressive. Impressive. I didn't think that you had it in you, but you're sharper than you look. Your victory was well earned. Two more captains. 
jagged edge. All right. It's time to resume my mission. I am sworn to secrecy on the nature of my investigations, of course. Don't take it personally. Oh, okay. Let's see, and you, Felix, you wanted to do something, right? Ah, yes, we need to go up there. We definitely want to do his because uh, I love his quest. It's so dumb, so dumb, so dumb it's good. Uh, let's go ahead and actually teleport up there if you could be so kind. Wait. Wait, it's a train station. No one ever, met, no one in town ever mentioned this. Do people know about this? They probably don't. They only opened recently, all because of me, because I'm awesome. There's the thing he wants to fight. Although I don't know if he wants to fight that particular one. I think it has to be over here. Oh yeah, he wants to fight that one right there. Don't say it, Lethal. I know you have, you have a desire to save. That's it. Okay, you fight and I'll sketch it. I do have to fight this thing by myself. Don't worry, I have the power. I have the power! Maybe. Faster than me? No. Grounded me. No. I don't want to be grounded, Mom. Uh, icicle dart. Wham! We icicle dart him again? You goddamn straight we do. Wham! I live for danger. Wait. Great. Oh. Stop! Okay, I gotta have a voice for her because she is going to be... This mysterious cat girl is really his quest. <laughs> Stop, fiend! <laughs> Sounds a bit too much like Morgante, but whatever. I don't come back! Huh? You, uh... Wait. Are uh, you... Oh, no. Nope. No. No. No! I... I think my past come back to hump. Let's go back to my place. Everything will come more clear, I promise. Uh-huh. Hmm. It has to be here somewhere. I... I found it. Here. This is my old sketchbook from when I was 12 years old. Brace yourself, viewers. It was in my apartment with me when I landed here, so I still have it. Look at this page. Mm. Just, just soak that in for a moment. Soak it in. See the lovely eyes? How much time was spent on those eyes? Her name is Kuneko. She was a character I made up as a kid. How come she has cat ears? Does she have angel wings? Is she a ninja? Uh... Well, she's like the daughter of an angel and a demon who were lost on Earth and adapt adopted by a mystical ninja clan. When she became 21, she left her home on an epic quest to battle at least four elemental altars. A battle at, rather. Four elemental altars. And prove her worth as the greatest warrior in the land. It's pretty cliche. Uh, she sounds pretty cool. Or, your art has improved since then. Well, she, she sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I was going through an anime phase in middle school. Don't judge me. I said she was pretty cool. I mean, look at those eyes. Come on, look again. <laughs> I am fully aware of how lame this whole situation is. I have no idea how my low-quality childhood drama became real. But if Kuneko is really here in this world, I need to find her. For undisclosed reasons. I need to get to the bottom of it. Oh, there she is. And she looks fucking adorable. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Mission accomplished. You saved me earlier. Do you know me? Well... Well, I mean, I've, I've never met you, but I have a strong connection to you. Hmm. Yeah, well, that kind of fits. I did create you. I am your dad. I... I... Please forgive me. I'm so sorry for not recognizing you, creator. A long, some time ago, I woke up in a meadow where we first met. With nothing but my, my name on my lips and a quest in my heart. 
I have no other memories created. <laughs> that's, that's, hmm. You you really don't have to keep calling me creative. Hmm. How about father? That's uh, it's not much better. Master? Nah. Nope. Daddy? Uh uh. Uh, absolutely, positively not. Just call me Felix, all right? <laughs> you mentioned a quest. What is your quest? Yeah. I'm, I must find the four elemental shrines across this land and defeat the beasts that guard them. Only then will I have proven my strength. Hmm. Man, I really could've, couldn't have come up with a better story than I could have. Kuneko, you probably shouldn't, you know, go on this quest. It's not real. I made it up as your backstory. Not to mention, the creatures here in New Wild are pretty dangerous. Uh, I, I don't think that I have... Why, you don't think I have what it takes, creator? Which is why I have no choice then to do it and prove myself. Duh. This is all really weird. It's not just me, right? It's about as weird as anything else on this island. Uh. I've created much less embarrassing characters since I was a kid, but, but why her? Either way. If she's only here because I am better, I guess I feel somewhat responsible. We should find these elemental altars and make sure she doesn't, you know, put herself in harm's way. You're a good daddy. Sorry, dad, make it weird. Anyway, let's go to some of these altars, shall we? I, I remember a few of these are. Some of them you can actually see from the map. You'll see that we have it looks like a little face, a little like non plus face on the map, but that's one of them there. Um, there's one right there. There's one up here. And then I can never remember where the last one is, but we'll find it. Either way, let's continue our quest. The last one I don't think you can see on the map, so I'll try it. I'll probably look that up after this session or this particular episode ends. I guess these altars are real. That figures. Kuneka. That tracks. Kuneka. <sighs> I must prove my strength, Raider. <laughs> my pointy blade. Show yourself, Guardian. <laughs> Come on. We should help her out. Mutant Bulletino. His Bulletino on Bulletino action. Multi target. Unicast. This will help everybody. I will intercept the attacks. I will be the lightning rod of hate. Open the sleep. Damn. Oh well. You can't win them all. Let's go ahead and give everyone a lightning wall. And then you try to put them to sleep. Kaneko, this is your show. I want you to do it. I want you to beat him up. You gotta prove your strength, honey. You gotta make daddy proud. She smacks him for a whole 34 damage. Thankfully, she's wind type, and he's a fire type. You missed. You're a terrible father. Uh, let's dodge. I want you to try to still put him to sleep. Ow! Ow! Stop ricocheting inside the wall. I hate that ability. There you go, get him. There we go, that's the ticket. All right, now we will go ahead and do some icicle dart and you can go ahead and help with, uh, what do I want you to do? Maybe I just want you to heal me so we don't have to have that. It's worth the two wood, right? We don't need to have the blaze green so real. I'll finish him off. You did the lion's share of the work there. Don't worry, there's still plenty of Bulletinos left. Look at it sleeping. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> Why? She got it. So proud. <laughs> All right, now what do I want to do? Now I want more multi-target? Let's just icicle dart, see if we can get this done with. 
you can go ahead and try to put that one to sleep, sure, whatever. Missed. Man. Oh. Forgot about that little attack of theirs. He goes through walls also because they have that stupid uh, ricochet. Excellent. She got the killing blow. It missed me. How did an explosion miss you? I'm just that good. She got a wind wall because of how fire works. Poison pollen. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance, creator. I won't need any help for the next battle. Don't worry, we'll be there. She's really committed to this, huh? All right then, let's find the rest. Let us find the rest. We know where the, or at least one other one is. Uh, we have that one there. We have this one in the meadow. We might as well do this one. This one's faster to get to. Yum. Hope you guys are enjoying this storyline. It's one of my favorite in this stupid game. <laughs> Powers of the sun and moon conveniently shining at the same time. Ah, uh, reveal yourself, Guardian. <laughs> She's really getting into this role here. Cheetah. I mean, it's her whole life. A windy boy. The Dama sect. Mom puts to sleep, goddammit. Yes, yes, ultimate power. <laughs> All right, can we, uh, I know I can hit with a lightning attack. Now make it hard for it to see? Hell yeah, let's do that. And why don't you, why don't you scorch him? Kaneko, you do what you do. Why? You're gonna have a real hard time kicking our ass. Being asleep and, you know, peekabooed effectively. She's gonna have a little more trouble with this one. She doesn't have an elemental advantage. Bless her heart. Don't worry, that's why we're here. Oh! Ah, so good. Necker, you better go first, otherwise Daddy's gonna get this one. There you go. Good work. She got it. So unfortunately, the dominant off is the one to sleep. You miss. Disappointing. Uh, let's charge since there's two of these on the field. I'm feeling really, really uh, oh no, greedy? No, arrogance. That's the word I'm looking for. Conductive, and that should kill it with this. Very damn close. Good wink, sweetheart. <laughs> the one that's asleep will have less attack damage. That's all we need. Let's go ahead and do that. I want you to go ahead and try to put this one to sleep. Guneko. What boom? You uprooted him. Now! Right, Guneko, get him. Get him. You soften him up. There you go. That one's already asleep. Bam. Okay. You dodge. You'll probably die from the uh, the effects, but whatever. You go ahead and re-sleep. Got it. <laughs> Worth proving. With extreme prejudice. We got Desperation for Huntorch. We got Metal Rift for our boy, the Cluckabilly, which seems on brand. Creator! To battle alongside you, Creator. I do not feel worthy. Oh. Uh, honestly, whoop, I didn't even progress the text there. She's, and she's gone. We should try to find her next ride. We should. But we'll have to do that next time, viewer. Because uh, it, we're at 30 minutes, and that's, you know, when I'm contractually obligated to complete these. So next time, we will set out, and we will go to this shrine up here, and wherever the other shrine is. 
I'm sure it's not too terribly far off, but man, I just can't remember where they are. Anyway, look forward to it and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.